In this video, I'm going to show you how to create contour lines of topography in QGIS. So first, I define what the basic definitions for what mean contour is and what are the terms used in contour. So first, let me define contour is a line which join points of equal elevations. Functions of contour is it helps to visualize the relief of ground in two-dimensional plane or map. Mainly those reliefs are mountain or mountain ranges or we can say the cliffs, hill or ridges, plain or flat surfaces, valleys or depression, sparse or shoulder, plateaus, slope, it can be gentle slope or steep slope, mesa or butte. There are also methods those used to create or plot contours. And the method of plotting contour in a plane or map is called contouring. So contouring is started by plotting the spot height with their specific altitudes to generate contour lines. And spot height is a statistical point that represents the uh, specific altitude and a place at that particular point. So like this one, this is what I have said, spot heights. And from this spot heights, we can generate, we can plot the contours or contour lines uh, by understanding their distributions and the, uh, the topography that we can make from this. And when we construct the contour lines by using this spot height, it may become like this one. This is what the constructed uh, contour line from the spot height. In QGIS, now I'm going to generate the contour line from uh, DM. That means using digital elevation model that if you refer the, from the previous video, how can we download digital elevation model freely by using QGIS? And this term is very common for uh, elevation, that means for ISO lines. That means the line which indicates the same value. And we can also use this term for ISO lines like for pressure, for temperature, for underwater uh, depths, for precipitation. But we call them like for pressure, we can say isobar and isotherm for temperature, isobuzz for underwater depths, and isoheights or isohypsis for precipitation. Uh, let's go to uh, how to uh, generate the contour line from the QGIS. Okay, there are steps in QGIS to generate contour lines. I can uh, start from the adding or uploading data like DM, DM data to QGIS. And I have already uh, uploaded this one. You have to refer also the last video how to upload data. And you can use the base map of either satellite image or the what open source street map from this way. I have added this one from this here from the browser side. You can add open street map in this seed. And then the next step is uh, be sure whether your uh, DM is projected or not. My is already projected one and I'm using for the generation of the uh, contour lines. So let's go to uh, raster. Then I have to uh, select extraction. From extraction, I have selected 
contour and my input layer is dm which has 3 meter resolution and i have to uh, assign the interval that means uh, the two consecutive contour line interval of elevation is uh, must be assigned by uh, you for my case i have to use 20 meter interval but it is based on the topography based on the uh, uh, scale of the map and based on the what the idea that uh, you know your state area whether it was a uh, small extent or large extent area so uh, or it can be that the the the, the air relief the air relief difference also whether if the area is dominated with the cliffs the mountain or hill or uh, plain or flat surface based on that knowledge you can uh, decide your interval value and here is what other things are considered uh, as a default value elevation uh, that is considered in the attribute we take elevation and finally i have to give the name for my uh, my file which was contour denomination so I can give here it is 20 meter interval okay 20 meter and save as type is shape file okay then I can run okay completed I can visualize this area okay you see here specifically the area is around give a three Okay, now uh, uh, I'm going to uh, work with the what attribute value. Now I can check here the attribute and I have to uh, generate the index contour. That means from every uh, five contour line, we find some uh, thickness larger uh, contour line which is index contour like this one like this one index contour so we can count the, the the value between the contour other contour lines are the intermediate contour lines and every five contour line we find index contour line and I can now generate this one, index contour line. Okay, let me open this one, attribute table, then I have to, on the editing, toggle editing, then I have to click here, open field calculator, and I'm generating the new field which is index index okay then i can uh, select the output field type is integer and i can here write some of uh, scripts or the code let me write the code if if elevation I leave divided or the remainder of elevation to 100 is, is equal to zero that means 100 means the interval time five five is what the number in between every five uh, contour line I have to get the index contour so 20 is the interval of the my contour so 20 times 5 is 100 then i can say this one if elevation divided to 100 and the remainder is zero that means the remainder of uh, elevation divided to 100 is zero then the 
value is 1 and if there is another value which is empty I can use this one okay empty space then I can close my uh, parenthesis then here is no no error if there is error it shows the message here so I can click OK here yes so it's generated one for index value so I can save here okay then exit from the editing mode now I have to uh, I have to level my uh, control line and I have to change also the the color okay symbology I can change this one to black and I can uh, apply okay I can apply okay and I can also add the size here is width is value okay I can visualize here like this one okay it shows different topography right and it has the spacing difference widely spaced and closely spaced In this area it shows the closely spaced topography that it can be the cliffs or hillside and in widely spaced area it can be plain or flat surface so then I have to select the leveling okay levels and here I have to select single and I have to uh, select elevation and the placement can be online not above line online and i have to buffer also to minimize the the crowded or overlaid uh, numbers i have to uh, uh, buffer by one then i can apply okay here is here is wow wow okay now i have to uh, do again about the index i want to level only the index value then i have to open here and i have to add one field which is leveling let me call it level okay level okay and i have to write here elevation elevation lb multiplied with index okay then i can apply okay here is then i have to save this one and exit from the editing then i have to uh, re-level let me level okay this one level and i have to uh, okay this one leveling size or something you can change text here the value it can be 11 or 12 it's based on your uh, text selection so here and i have to change also the size of the index now symbology here I have to classify categorized okay I can I can I can do this one index okay 
for index for this one i have to select color black and the size is this one small and for this one for one this is index one and it must have larger size that means thicker than the other intermediate uh, contour line thickness okay can apply okay here is wow you see here from every five contour line we can find the tick index contour end we can visualize their respective elevation values okay if you want you can make this one you the part of your project or your research you can uh, present and you have to also uh, visualize different landforms and the patterns of contour lines on the uh, on the state area or the field the terrain so you can visualize like this or you can also estimate the uh, elevation values of the reservoir or lake so you can do like this and you can uh, you, you can you can use this one thank you very much and don't forget subscribing my uh, youtube channel and if it's something that i uh, uh, haven't shown you is that means the color of this level leveling so color i can change the color in leveling maybe the text text let me uh, change this one and let me apply yeah here is this is changed to red the leveling or the elevation value in for uh, the elevation value of index contour is changed to uh, red color so you can visualize like this